Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video, AI tutorial video of Slidescope. In this video, we are going to use an API which is Vona API and we are going to use this API to query SQL databases. We are trying to build a bot that can query SQL databases. So usually the SQL queries are like select a star from table or select some particular column from table where some condition usually the queries are like this but in this case we will use some common sentences to query the database we will see that so the two things that you will need first of all is you will need to say, uh, open your anaconda navigator or python whatever you feel you are best with so whatever IDE you are comfortable with, you can use that. We are using the Jupyter Notebook. And first thing that you want to do is install Wana library. So this Wana library or package can be installed with pip. Just write pip install Wana. So in my case, since I am using Anaconda Navigator, so I will use Anaconda Prompt. And here I will write pip install Wana. In my case, it is already there, so requirement is already satisfied. But in your case, you might want to do this. Now, after installing it, you just have to the second step that you have to do is go to Wana.ai website and from here get an API key. So open get an api key and this is a simple way of doing it right you will just write api key is equal to vn dot get api key my example and then you can set the api key the, like this way so this will give you a simple variable where your you will have your api key it will send a code to your email and you will have an api key or you can go to warner.ai website directly and from here you can get started for free and you can then get your key. Once you have your key, you just have to enter your key here in a string format. I, you can ignore this particular step. I have just used this step to store my API key in a separate file and then from that separate file I am just importing my key. So that I can put here. I don't want to show the API key just for security reasons. Now, what next we are going to do? We will import Wana as VN. We will set VN API key here, and then we will select a model. Okay. So when you will go to this documentation page, you can see that this is how you can uh, get an API key. This is how you can set a model. And then this is how you can ask a question like what are the top 10 artists by sales, right? Or suppose you want to create a table. So create table employee. This is the training step. So first of all, what we are going to do is we will ask some questions. So for that, we will connect with a sample database. And here we will connect to the SQLite database, which is Chinook.SQLite. So this particular code will set your API key, select your model as Chinu and it will connect to SQLite it a sample database. Then you will ask a question. So vn.ask question. So I am asking a question here. Show all table names. So when I will run this, it will automatically create this query. Select name from SQLite master where type is equal to table order by name so you can see i did not write this query i just wrote show all table name and then it is giving us all table names and these table names albums artist customer employee invoice there are many such cases now we will copy this and here you can see the table names it is giving us this uh, nice interface also and this is these are some follow-up questions also which are AI generated. Like what are the columns in the playlist table? How many rows are there in the employees table and things like that. So usually what are the columns in the 
a playlist table we can add select a star from playlist uh, then we can add select count star from employee but this time we are going to do differently so let's say show employee let's let's select all columns so what are the columns in the employee table we have some okay so we have used single quote here so it is querying the database and here you can see name of all the columns so we have employee id last name first name title reports to birth date hire date and so on so this is what employee table looks like now what we can do is uh, let's try to ask a question here. Let's stop this. Print name of those employees who are 55 years old who are or who are older than 55 years here you can see so you can see the query you select first name last name employee where uh, str this is uh, converting a string to time and uh, where year of birth date is less than date now minus 55 years so it is giving some answer to us so that's how you can use this ai bot to query this we will we have a question series so in this question series you can see we have 50 practice queries of northwind database and some of the tables that are there in that chinook uh, sample database are from northwind also but let's say in the next video we will try to analyze all these queries so we will give this prompt and we'll see whether it can tell us or not for example this table do works for the employee table so let's see so this time we are going to use the question from that table here create a report that shows the employee id order id customer id required date ship date from all order ship later so let's say if it can obviously it uh, should have the orders table it do has this invoice table but doesn't have the orders table but it has still given us the query and now let's copy this query and try to analyze it in our database so obviously you have to change employees employee to employee orders to order And now let's, let's run this query. And you can see the answer. So this is how you can actually use this bot to generate some query for you. So you can do a lot more with this. Uh, try this and if you have any doubts, you can discuss it, uh, it with us in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel so that we can post more videos like this and you can get a notification.